Two young fighters making impact tonight here at EFC 99. Malconia, big overhand right, clinches up, Woo. knee up the middle. Shepard just trying to control with his own uppercuts down the inside. Again, Hokonya with his own uppercuts as well. Just trying to kind of relax and, and get back into a more comfortable pace because you can only keep up that frantic, frenetic pace for so long. And uh, then you got to settle in to... But you're right, Cyrus. Once the, the fight starts to settle a bit, good right from Ajuba. But Cyrus, I'm all just as confused as you are. Good left knee from Ajuba, though, but Okonya uses it to take him down. Beautiful action from both lads. Yeah, well, Debart Penner was talking about Simbarashi's strength and how he uses his strength, his cardio as a weapon as he finishes this round in a full mount and finishes it strong as well. Majuba put his hand out and Okonya says, nah, let's go to war. Nice, nasty leg kick. Round two. He's going to definitely give Okonya something to think about. Big, long legs. Nice combination. Nice one-two oh, by Majuba. Nasty and body here comes Okonya hunting him. Pushing him up against the fence sign. Good right from Okonya. Now Matuba's firing back with his own. It was a good body kick from Okonya to set it up. And now Matuba's coming in. For Majuba to continue to get up and to be tricky and find his Got way Got it up. underneath. Now we're going in for the choke. It looked like Majuba's going to skate to the side, Cyrus. But now Okonya followed him to the right side. It's, it's under. It's not quite close on. Majuba's still able to breathe. Thinking about the tap, I'm not sure he's not defending much. Conyers can see me to re readjust a bit, and he's happy to go back into full mount now. Into the choke, nice long neck of Majuba has to be calling his name. <laughs> and he reverses in. Great reversal. He's got one and a half. How about the heart, and how about the determination of Majuba? And he's giving some shots to Konya. He was able to get back up. Goes right back into the takedown. With one minute left, Akonya attacks it once again. He's going to have lots of notes from his coaches, no doubt about it. Up and then down. And this grappling going back and forth. And Sibirashi Akonya coming from that boxing background, looking uh, certainly a handful, and that strength. Doggedly determined on that single to continue and finish the second round strong. Young fighters. Sometimes those are the fighters that give you those fight of the nights, those classic, or the ones that just don't know any better. And uh, we saw he connected in round two. He connects too much more here on Akonya. We're going to see some damage, and we'll see. And as well, when his back's up against the fence, he doesn't get out of trouble. <laughs> and both lads swinging and missing was a good left from Majuba. Cameron Strauss, a little bit of a warning there. Majuba oh, up here. Good combo. Leg kick, and then a nice combination. Majuba is on point right now he is connecting when he gets his opportunity it's in his face you can see that right hand out there Whoa. referee strauss has warned him a few times oh. wow majuba is on point chepel certainly looking a little bit tight another nice leg kick really defeating uh for a fighter oh it's a great and leg now kick Hikonia. Seconds about to elapse here on this fight. And uh, I think no matter who comes out on top, you're going to learn a lot of lessons for a young fighter. And this is just a great performance by both guys. There it is. This fight's in the books, Simon. Simbarashi Akanya feels like he did enough. Well, he certainly looked good in round number three. Took all the damage that Majuba gave him and gave him back more. What a fight. We leave it to the judges now, Simon. That uh, was such fun. Uh, I gotta be honest. Temba telling him to calm down, relax. You know, this could potentially go all three rounds. You can only keep that pace up for so long. Here's the Rathonic action replay, Simon. Yeah, nice inside work. Both lads exchanging. So nice. I've got good clinch work from Okonya, though. Chepa struggled at the beginning of the, that first minute. It was an absolute flurry, but it was just some stunning offense from Okonya. But Chepa Majuba. Very wise to it. There's that beautiful left knee as Akonya comes in to the pocket, gets the single, gets the double actually, and takes Chepa Majuba down. Let's take a look at that right hand by Majuba. Both lads are exchanging some good rights. Those nasty left elbows. 
from Akonyo. Majuba ate them quite nicely. Gave up his back. He didn't like the full mounted ground and pound. But he was able to uh, escape, really. Some good takedowns from Okonya. Very difficult to defend when he's got that kind of strength. And, like to and both Laos just putting on a fantastic display of guts. Jeff Mojuba able to weather the storm. There's not a mark on him. Both lads put a lot, a lot of swing and misses, but exchanging a lot of rights and nasty leg kicks. You know, Simba ate that so nasty. <laughs> Such a nasty leg kick, but Okonya there just turning his opponent around. And here we go. That's where he turns his back on him with the leg kick and get. You know, it doesn't matter what kind of continuous offense Okonya was able to give him. Chef Mujib was able to weather like the storm. A, it was like a lion chasing down a gazelle there uh, with that takedown craziness inside of the hexagon. Very, very tightly contested was this fight. Is Okonya going to come out on top here in his debut? But it's Sepul Majuba do enough to earn himself an EFC victory tonight here at the Performance Institute. It appears that we have a decision coming through, so let's throw it up. Kotso Bilal Rumopo has our decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. The judges score this contest 30-27, 30-27, and 29-28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision. The Hawk, Simba Russia. Okonya! What an incredible fight. Chi Tung Wee's in Zimbabwe. You have a new prospect in the EFC without a shadow of a doubt. What a fantastic debut, Simba Rashi Hokonya. How do you feel about that superb performance? This is just a warming, warming up fight, guys. December, I'm ready to fight. Thank you, Graham, for this opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you, EFC, for this opportunity. And second, I want to thank my coaches there. Tema Gorimbo, Temat Pena. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. What's the, what's the vibe at UMF now with this, these guys, with this kind of corner? That kind of talent that you showed here today shows that you were one very dangerous prospect. What's your future? So you don't want to get there. What's your future? Uh, I want to be a featherweight champion. I'm coming for everyone, guys. I'm coming for everyone. I'm here to win, guys. I'm here to win. Superb performance, a great debut. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, the Hawk, Simba Rashi Okonya.